Hi everyone, welcome to Tatla Designs. I hope everyone is doing well and today we're sharing another card kit, so I hope you enjoy. The kit I'm sharing today is the Spellbinders March 2021 card kit of the month. I love this kit, like I love all the other ones. This one had things I love like butterflies and pretty background paper and let's just say I love it. And let's start with card number one. I hope you enjoy. For card number one, I started with this piece of pink kind of wood grain paper. And I'm adding these two die cuts that came in the kit. I actually cut them from one of the die cuts. And I'm going to join them together to create a cute little plant pot look below the window. This die cut window. And then we're going to add our little critters sitting on the plant pot. And we'll put the card together. I decided to add the foam adhesive, foam adhesive, both the flower area and the rabbit, so as so we can add some dimension in front of the window. I want it to stand away from the window, so I just add some foam adhesive and add some glue to the window itself, and add that first, and then we can add here our flower pot. Or plant pot whatever and then add our little critters like so Then I add the die cut sentiment that says friends at the bottom of the window. Then we're going to add this to our card base and I decorated an envelope to match and this is card number one. For card number two, I'm using some die cuts again, and um, this is the this is um, clovers leaves. So I decided to create a flower. Well, it looks like a flower to me, and I add I added the three sizes. Um, the second one actually was a four leaf clover, but I cut one of the stems off, and the final one I'm adding some foam adhesive to it to pop it up a little off the other two so we have our little flower and I love the way this looks I wish there were more die cuts like this so I can use them on another card other cards I should say because I did create another clover um card and that dice that I just shown was from MFT that I cut that um, circle, stitch circle from. And I love the little pattern on the edges of the circle. And I add my little flower and then I'm going to add this die cut that says good luck. 
and then that will be added to that pattern paper in the background. I'm using some foam adhesive on the sentiment also for dimension. We add added the pattern paper first, and then we're gonna add our main image to our card base, and created I mean decorated our envelope, and that's it for card number two. For card number three, I am using two of the pattern papers, the polka dot blue one and this floral piece with the yellows. And the flower that you see on the right corner of the screen was actually cut from the same pattern paper that comes in the kit. And I'm putting the piece of pattern paper straight down the middle. Like so, I'm gonna cut the excess off. And then we're gonna add, I'm showing you the pattern paper to the left. We're gonna add our flower and then this die cut and the die cut sentiment. I'm adding the sentiment using some of this these mini foam adhesives again. And I love this color scheme. And I'm just gonna add some of these dots that came in the kit also. Decorate my envelope, and that's it for card number three. For card number four, I cut Another one of those um, stitch scallop circle from MFT die set. And I'm using this die cut flower punch. And I as, added some extra leaves to it, as you can see in the back. I'm going to adhere that first. And then the one on the right side, we're going to use some foam adhesive and add it to add a little dimension to the um, bouquet of flowers. For the sentiment, I went back and forth between what I wanted to do. And did I want to add the sentiment, this is lovely, or add them together, or add the bow.
decided on just adding our bow and then we're gonna add our sentiment which was a very small forever friends forever die cut from this set added to card base and that's it for card number four for card number five i started with this teacup die cut and i'm putting a little slit into it at first i did the back but then i put the slit in the front I'm trying to arrange the flowers that it looks like a bouquet of flowers sitting in this teacup. So that's why I'm fidgeting with the flowers to see how I like it best. Once I like the arrangement, I added this the bow. Um, it's the same bow from the prior card, but I cut the little um, ribbon that's flowing down. And <laughs> now that I look at it, I should have left the ribbon flowing down. But I wanted to show the gold, a lot of the gold from the teacup. Because this gold circle will be added behind our arrangement. So I added the gold circle, um, that gold cardstock actually came in the kit and I added the word lovely on a piece of white cardstock to go at the bottom for our sentiment and that gold circle just popped it off of the pink so um, we can see the bouquet a lot and as you can see I cut a bunch of the die cut leaves and added in between and that's it for card number 5, decorated my envelope, I hope you like. For card number six, we're using all these supplies that's on the screen. I started with this piece of pattern paper and then we're gonna add our um, grass. And then we arrange our little friends in the scene. So here we go.
I put the scene together and actually put it way to the right because I wanted to add the sentiment that says the best time to the left. But then I didn't like it. So I ended up cutting my scene down. As you can see now, I cut the scene down, frame it with some yellow cardstock, and we're just going to add it to our polka dot patch and paper here and add added a little little sentiment at the top in a yellow circle and it reminded me of the sun and just says XOXO and decorate my envelope and that's it for card number six for card number seven I started with another piece of my pattern paper and I cut a stitch circle with some dark pink cardstock and add two the two bunnies again and this time they're very cozy and we're gonna add them to the circle and then our sentiment is a die cut that says perfect together which we're gonna add to the bottom of the circle and we're gonna add some foam adhesive to our bunnies Then I cut some extra die cut leaves from one of the die cuts in the kit and just add them to each side of the bunnies like so and they're so cute and that's pretty much it for card number seven I just decorated my envelope and that's it for card number eight we're going to create another like a clover card um, I added three cloves again this time just staggering on the right side of this like a circle and as you can see I already added clo um, glued the clovers together I want them to um, be arranged a certain way that way it goes around the circle so I added them first together and then we're gonna add it to I was seen then we're gonna add this, this lucky sticker from the sticker the puffy sticker kit that came puffy stickers that came in the kit And this fish tail sentiment was added to the top. And it says lucky day. Add this to a card base and decorate our envelope. And that's it for card number eight. For card number nine, I'm using this scene die from Hello Bluebird. And it's a scene with the tree and grass, etc. And I cut out all the pieces. And I'm going to frame my piece of cardstock first with some gold cardstock. And I'm using double adhesive with this gold cardstock because um, the glue takes um, a little while to dry when you use liquid glue. So we're just going to put our scene together. And you can use any scene dye that you have or just create your own scene. But you wanted um, a grass area for your 
little critters. And this dye comes with some veins in the tree. I guess they call it veins. So I'm just highlighting them with a brown Copic marker. Should have been a little lighter, but Once we put the scene together, we're going to add our little critters. And these, I actually cut the white area off all the way around this, the die cut. And then use a dark colored mark, um, Copic marker to go around the edges. So we're going to add our reindeer here and their best buddies. And this, it looks like the scroll is bringing him a treat. So once we add our little guys, I add the Puffy Friends sticker in the sticker sheet. For card number 10, I started with this pretty checkered paper, as you see, and I cut a piece of blue cardstock with a stitched die, and I'm going to use a circle, any kind of shape here. But I used <laughs> I used a piece of blue cardstock and I'm going to add this die cut um is also actually a wheelbarrow and I cut the bottom of it off. I think that's what it's really called. At least it's called like it's called a wheelbarrow in my country. <laughs> um I cut the part with the wheel off so I could just get a basket of flowers or a container of flowers. And then I'm going to add my little, what's that, fox inside my little basket of flowers. Then I had the Life is Sweet Puffy Sticker and added to a card base, definitely my envelope, and that's it for card number 10. For the bonus card, I cut out a bunch of the dye images, and I love this little vine of clovers, I guess. And, oop, of course my glue is acting up. But I'm going to put, the, I cut four of the vines and I'm going to put them together to form a square. And then I'm going to create a scene with our little 
bunny that we cut out. And you can see all the pieces. We have leaves, flowers, um, the pink part of the bunny ears and cheek. So I cut all that out. And we're going to create a scene for our bunny. Then I add my vine square that I created to a piece of blue cardstock and I'm going to add my little bunny into the space first. Then I'm going to add his little cheeks and his nose. And as you can see, I added a flower in his hand. The way that the die cut out, you can his hand. <laughs> well, I guess it's his hand. It's his hand for now. <laughs> I added um, a flower to his hand. And we're going to add a bunch of flowers to the scene. Then we cut a piece of cardstock four by five and a quarter. And we're going to add our square to the top. And then I cut, a, cut up this sentiment that says the best time. It was actually on a fishtail die cut. And I cut it so that it can go across the, the, the card. I added it to a, a lighter pink cardstock. Lighter than the background. Ooh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Ooh. So we're going to add our sentiment like so, the best time. And we're going to cut another one of the die cut 
clover vines and add it to the bottom. So this is our bonus card. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can know when I upload another video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.